I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... And we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. This is mad! You're going to execute me! Shut your mouth, Tuttle. The man is dead because of you. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Finn was only there at the very end. You had your say. Actually, I was there the whole time. Oh. Then tell us. Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... No, we're not. He's telling the truth. You can't fault a man for defending himself. Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Rossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod. You told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. But there's no coming back from this. I know I did the right thing. That's all that matters. What Brit did to your family, anyone would want him dead. But now you'll have to face the consequences. But John... I'm sorry, Garrett. There's nothing more I can do. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. Seems even your mother's abandoned you. Won't be alone for long, though. The Axeman will find you soon enough. know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Then maybe you should get to know me better. I'm not like those other men. You sure look like the rest of them, covered in dirt. Shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. One run in was enough for me, thanks. Clearly. Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. I think I'd rather not. You're smarter than you seem. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. Then you were wise to keep your distance. 
You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. My friend has the burns to prove it. It's likely to leave a scar. Your dragon did this, Your Grace. Well, he wouldn't. You must have tried to fight him. What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? My little brother was murdered in front of his family, and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your sellswords, please... If... I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left after the liberation, once the slaves are free? Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. There is no after. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself... You have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. Oh, that's but it! Your Grace! See them out. We're not just sellswords. We're the best damn sellswords in Slaver's Pay. <laughs> I know a few who might disagree with you. His boasting aside, they were two of my best fighters. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She could help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. We'll help you free the city. If you'll just consider what I've asked. We can talk about that after the slaves have been released from their chains. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger... I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. really going into Marine. What's the problem with you and Marine anyway? It doesn't matter now, does it? Best case. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss bucket. 
I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more! It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roylin. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't just fight through the pain. You need to try something different. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. <laughs> Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. <sighs> my lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena? She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia. Roderick. Can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. You're always welcome here. We're to be married. You'll be calling I and Rath home soon. Yes, well, um... That's why I came, actually. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean? He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! Lena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help. But my father won't listen. I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not gonna be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. And so have I. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his heart. He's protected by a garrison of his own soldiers. We have a way around that. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen. Experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. 
Whitey'll still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand you worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I'll do it, if it really is the only way. I'm afraid it is. Thank you, Roderick. I knew you'd come through for us. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. To us, I should say. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide-and-seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I'd like that very much, Elena. Then you know where to find me. I can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. <laughs> For all I of one hour. Marry his brother too. <laughs> not to I mention Cersei and Jaime. Shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About Whitehill's contact? Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lud Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. That's all you found out? I already knew that much. It's the best I could do. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. Lord Morgren and Lord Andros. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Oh, I'll figure it out, Tom. Well, whatever you decide, do it soon. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Out here. There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Doing it. I heard him talking. You're he to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them. Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. 
Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. I owe you for this. If we make it out alive, I... Well, now that you mention it... What? I want to go with you, Garrett. To the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. It's not moving, though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. I can see it. It's coming loose. I'm going to try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. You two idiots, lucky I'm not Frostfinger. Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. Finn, you bastard. What are you doing here? I'm the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with a potato fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move! There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run?
It's worse than I thought, isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. I'll need every one of them for what I'm about to do. I'll have them here as soon as possible. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then. to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. You? I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Let the maester go, Griff. Not until he's learned his lesson. He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heel. So now he's paying the price. Oh, my hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Go ahead. Come at me, Griff. My fucking pleasure. God, <laughs> ah, you fucking... You're dead, Roderick. I doubt that. Grab him! Don't just stand there! He is not the... What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders. What are you waiting for? Kill anyone that moves. You heard him. Stop now. You can't do this. Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me. Maester, are you all right? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your own fucking family! Leave Ironrath. Take your soldiers and get out. Then maybe I'll show you mercy. I'm not going anywhere. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. What's it gonna be, Roderick? We're done here. Clear out. Find the White Hills to the cellars. 
No one gets in or out. Coward! Bloody coward! Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the Ravens. All of them. I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen! That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! And getting pissed drunk before a mission! Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cave! What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me! I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? Or the fuck what do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Come on, Croft. You can do better than you that. Have to... ah! <laughs> you could never handle a fair fight, could you? Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck. I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mister, anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <sighs> <sighs> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Unfortunately, we have to listen to him, even if he is an arsehole. He's in charge of this mission, and what he says goes... He's not in charge of me. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? Your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You brought me here. Just talk to me, Veska. We're done talking. Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. Is this what you want? Get off me. I can't. I can't talk about it. Tell me what are you so afraid of? I was a slave! Here, in this fucking city. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. I'm... I'm, I'm so sorry, Veska. I don't want your pity. 
I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. Come on. You've had enough. Let me take that. Inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. You're on your own. This is important, Sarah. Important enough to get us both sent home. I have to do this. <sighs> Fine. But you owe me, understand? She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loads. <Stop it. laughs> what? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? I'm sorry, I... I I'm, I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No, I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You've told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. 
but I admire the Gaul. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. I've heard you stopped selling ironwood. Not on my account, I hope. How did you? So it's true. It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. Why would Lord Andros want to push you out? You found a man he could manipulate. Someone who wouldn't demand an equal share. Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? <laughs> Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You work with Lord Andros, right? Well, yes. We do some business together. What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I respect that. Trust is so rare in King's Landing. I'm glad you think so. And just between us... Simon! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Just tell me, Lord Tarwick. It's important. I may be willing to tell you, if you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. 
You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. I think you'll want to hear this. Hear what? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well... Now you know, too. That army will destroy my family! That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... You bloody traitor! You promised me! Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar! I should never have trusted you! She told me everything! Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. know where you're going. Cotter? Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? 
Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's the food? Well, this won't last much longer. If Finn wasn't eating all of it. It's not me. Oh, we'll have to stop soon, look for some food. We're on the right track. This way. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling, Cotter! They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, alright? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. Good on Ting? No! I'm, uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardholm. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm... Oh! oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to I'm me. Not. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first. Listen! I don't want to fight! Then you shouldn't have come here. He'll be all right. Won't he? Ah! 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 Stop! Please! You don't like it? You best hope your little crow brothers come looking for you soon. Are those the last of our supplies? We can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on! We can rest up ahead!
thought I'd feel better seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord. And I'm... I don't know what I would have done. It's hard to know what's right. You never really know for sure. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? If he truly has a spy... He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. Maybe this is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. She's right. What do you hope to accomplish? We could get Ryan back. This could be our chance. You're right. Now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? His son for my brother. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. We'll need the Glenmores at High Point. They'll accompany us. Yes, my lord. Let Arthur Glenmore know at once. I'll start making the preparations. To think that one of them might be spying for the White Hills. Duncan wanted you to travel to High Point without any protection. Yet Royland would leave Ironrath defenseless. Well, I'll need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But if we're going to an enemy stronghold, maybe you'd best take Sir Royland. It's meant to be a negotiation, not a battle. How could any of them betray us? I've known these people my whole life. I wish I knew. Still, we can bring only one. Duncan's my sentinel. He comes to High Point. Royland can stay here and defend Ironrath. Very well. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point. But I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please. I'll do anything you ask of me. Even something dangerous. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Find proof if you can. I'll... I'll do my best. I have faith in you, Talia. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least... I don't think he would. I hope you're right, Mother. Welcome. Don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Your family needs you. That's what matters right now. <laughs> You're my family too, Malcolm. And I couldn't be prouder of you. Good luck, my boy. Shall we begin? Listen up! There are four of these guard posts throughout the city. They'll use them to warn the masters in case the slaves decide they're tired of wearing chains. We're here to make sure they don't see it coming. 
Serend, you take the north. Penn, the south. Asher, we'll take the east. And Kirin will cover the west. Make the enemy blind. Give the Unsullied a chance to get in and arm the slaves. The rest is up to them. Don't get cocky out there. One mistake, and the man you remember when we stole that giant war hammer? Get in, do what you have to do, and get your people Didn't she hit you in the face with it? That's all you I need never to thought my about. head could feel any You worse. got that. Tonight, any man who wishes to be free may take that freedom from the grip of his master. You will clear a path for them, but they must walk it alone. Justice belongs to the people of Marine. Do not make them wait any longer. What does she know of justice? Is there a problem? If you can't do this, tell me now. The Masters will be judged by the people of Marine, not by you. No problem here. As long as we get the reward you promised. You will have it. You will both do as Croft commands. Follow his orders exactly, or you will get nothing. Now go. Show them the hell they have made here. I hoped I'd never see this place again. Tried to run once. Didn't make it very far. Which way? There's a path around there. Voids the main street. Let's just get this over with. What's the matter, Croft? You see how many guards are out there? How were you expecting to get past them? We'll be caught. You asked me which way. This is it. Then we'll stay out of sight. Follow me. Can you see anyone? Cover me. What are they doing? Hey, Pesca! Pesca! We have to go. There's something I have to do. Vesca, what are you doing? Do you trust me, Asha? We don't have time for this. Just tell me. Do you trust me? I need to know. Now you're worrying me, Vesca. What is going on? Don't worry. It'll be fine soon enough. Vesca! Where are you going? Follow her! Help the 
familjen! For helvede! For helvede! Ingen idrætpulle! Se hvad der er lige om jeg har sagt! Hvorfor gør du det? 10 år siden! Beska! Beska! I should have killed you! Beska! I should have fucking killed you! Beska! He was my master. Dezor Zoraza. The man who forced me to... Don't do this, Beska. You don't have to kill him. I can't let him live. You of all people should know that! Have you lost your mind? I'm ordering you to back away! <sighs> my... my best guy! I am not! Let him go! What, what are you doing? I shoot! You will do as I say! Both of you, take her weapon! I need to do this, Asher. After everything he's done. And he'll pay for it, once the city is free. He will be punished. Punished by a queen who has no right to. His life means nothing to her. She does not speak for the children who died in those pits. Asha, stop her! I will get their justice. I won't let you ruin this for me. You heard what Daenerys said. Let go of me. I'm doing this, Asha. I know he deserves it, but we need Daenerys on our side. You kill him, and we lose everything. Don't let this all be for nothing. You, Asha. Wait! We might just make it out of this alive yet. She's just getting started. Over there. So when were you gonna tell me he's a fucking Wavi? Not now, Finn. Come on. Is this place an old haunting camp? We can rest here until your friends attack us again. I know the signs, all right. It's abandoned. Ah, I'm gonna go make sure nobody's lurking around out here. Don't trust this fucking place. Fine. Here. Let me take a look at it. How? Oh, Just relax, will ya? What is that stuff? Ah, oh, it smells like sick cow. The maester at House Forester used it on my leg once. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Do you even know what you're doing? Hold that there. You almost done. Oh, God. Does it have to be so tight? It does if you don't want to bleed to death. Yes, Maester. Oh. oh, you got anything to drink? This far north and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something, please. I'll see what I can find. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll... I'll gut you like a fucking fish. <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. But my friend is hurt. We're just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Step back! Wanna kill her yourself or should I do it? Garrett! Drop your weapon! Is that. You're outnumbered. You can't fight all of us. Go! 
Otto! Oh, Sylvie. You're alive! Who's this fucking snowball? I told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. <laughs> right. You're planning on introducing us, Cotter? Right. Uh... <laughs> this... is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? And... Arthur Glenmore. I don't recall you being invited. Yet here I am. Roderick, may I have a word? What were you thinking? Bringing those soldiers here is sure to set my father off. As if he needs more excuses. I thought you knew better. The Glenmores have sided with us. I want him to know it. I need you to cooperate today, Roderick. And why would I do that? I told you I'd try to talk sense into my father. And you did your part, putting up with Griff. I know how difficult that must have been for you. But it will all be for nothing unless you listen to what my father has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head, and thinking before you jump to conclusions. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? That doesn't look like good faith to me. You have an impressive stronghold, Lady Gwyn. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Are your soldiers expecting trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? My lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torrin serves Bruce Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. Come on. We mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff. That's still our plan. If anyone here should be afraid, it's Whitehill. Agreed. Let's have a look around, see what we find. Welcome to High Point. Lord, my men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? You kept us waiting, Lord. What can I say? I lost track of time. 
And besides, you have these Glenmore soldiers to keep you company. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? Once called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. I'm not here to admire your hope. Surely there's time to reminisce about old friends. Gregor was not your friend. Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill? To family. To, to family. family. Now, tell us why we're here. The ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roose Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet... You know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft Ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick. This could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace. And you spit at it. I offer opportunity. And you demand more. I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Ironrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch! This isn't the way to They're get what you want! They're making slaughtering your small folk! Maybe he'll even make you watch! Griff's no longer in charge of Ironrath. What are you talking about? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. <sighs> You didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North! Roderick, how could you? Now it's my turn to propose a deal. Your son Griff, for my brother Ryan. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. the boy. Ryan! Mother! Frotric! I... I thought you'd forgotten about uh, me. Uh, no! Father, no! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't I do this! I swear by the gods if you were... Let him go! Or I'll have Griff This killed. is not what we agreed. Blame him! Not me. If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? Power! Oh, I ought to kill you right now! Because you forest has never I'm learned. I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word! Kill me, and we all die! Let go! Let me go! Everyone, please! No. I'll kill you! Go on, then. Do it! What? You think I won't? I know you won't. Don't test him, Roderick. Because for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. Whitey is still a Whitey. You 
You know what, Roderick? You're right. <coughs> Ryan, come here. No! We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. <coughs> Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both. When the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It's been a pleasure, Lord. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. Iron from ice! There it is. The East Watcher. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. If those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them. Hi. Come on, let's get moving. Beska. Hmm? It's nothing. Just forget it. I know Dizor didn't go the way you wanted, but now is not the time for regret. You knew what it meant to me, Asha, and you... It's done now. I'll take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Hey, prove it! <laughs> we'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So, which will it be? You want to be the leader, you decide. I'll go over the top. You just make sure to clear the way. I think he got the easy job. on the roof. We'll take care of it. I'll get rid of them. I've got it. Go! Down there? Hey! 
We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. We stick to Croft's plan. Take care of them first. All right. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you did it. Croft! Croft! Quit your whimpering. I'm not dead yet. Hear that? It's starting. At High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff, but you knew exactly what you were doing. And now Ryan will be coming home. He'll sleep in his bed, eat at our table. Restoring our family is just the beginning. Next we'll rebuild, make ourselves strong again. <sighs> oh, Roderick. Sometimes you sound just like your father. My lord, look! Where are the gods? Dahlia? Sir Ryland! Where's my sister? Elena! Where's anybody? <laughs> Wait here. <laughs> I 
come on. Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Or maybe you think you can do better. Of course not. I I didn't mean to offend you. Perhaps a song instead. Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. How courteous. Now I know where your sister gets her manners. We've had a lovely time together, haven't we, Talia? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been... lovely. And you? I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. 